certainly wasn't happy with the big intro last week. <laughs> Chris, how are you? Very good, thanks, Richard. Hello, everybody. Been a good week? Uh, not too bad. Interesting week. Went to Japan. Went to Japan? Yeah. After last Saturday night, we went, got on a plane, went there. Bit of a reconnaissance mission. Let's see how they train over there. And a and, uh, very interesting trip. In, trip. Um, we've got some good ideas, obviously. They've worked hard on their genetics, buying good horses, sending their mares to good stallions, and the way they train, just it's the training tracks, um, mainly on an uphill incline, very conscious about the surface that they're working on it at the same 365 days a year. Um, the science of training a horse with um, blood tests, heart rate monitors. They've just gone to a whole new level. They, just, they do not stop with perfection. They're continuing to strive for better was the one thing I noticed. They give their horses a bit of time, um, but overall a fantastic trip and great learning curve. What part of that can you bring back to your training here? Um, I think we spell our horses a lot in Australia, and it's often just uh, close your eyes, we'll try and fix a problem in the paddock, and bring it back and hope the problem's gone. Whereas over there, they'll just certainly drop back on the horse's work, but they'll just find a way just to help with that problem and get them back to the races. Um, their training tracks is a, is a big thing, and wastage in horses, I went to Northern Farms, which is Mr. Yoshida's farm, and they said to me, They've only got a wastage rate of 5%. Wastage is when horses don't make it to the races. In Australia, <coughs> I don't know the facts. I would say it's closer to 20% of our horses don't get to the races. Um, so I think that's a big thing, trying to cut down the wastage. So training tracks is the most important thing. All we see is racetracks, the punters and people at homes, but the horses are going around a race training track 365 days a year we've got to make sure the surface is the best possible surface we can get because after all it's an investment it's an investment for the owners massive big big prices and training fees are expensive because of labor costs etc and obviously the punter is also an investor so I think in turn it means the best horses will get to the best races not have the hard luck stories and not getting there and then that brings the best horses to be the best stallions, the best mares. So it's just a, a revolving circle, and I think they're doing it very well. Good experience. Unbelievable. Yep. As is most parts of the world. And they might come to Australia, as they have, and learnt a lot from us. But they've refined it and continue to strive for better. Push pause on that. and then. We'll